Hotels are notorious for being expensive, especially in London. Literally everything costs a lot here. Take this one bedroom single room in London, for example, it is £700 a month. Is that a joke? Anyways, I'm going slightly off topic. Today's video, I'm going to be comparing a £10 hotel to a £1,000 hotel. So someone called Manel that has been commenting on my videos for years now said that I should stay in London's most expensive hotel versus London's cheapest hotel. £26,000. Pounds. And that is why we have limited it at a thousand pounds, which is still a lot of money. I then went on to booking.com, put in the location, put in a few different dates. I then selected price low to high, my favorite option on every website. The Oyo Tam Tam Acton Hotel was the cheapest option that came up at 25 pounds. I know it's not exactly 10 pounds, but 25 pounds versus a thousand pounds in a title doesn't quite ring the same. So now I have to book the expensive one. This is going to be extremely painful. It just had to be the Shard. There was a 993 pound room in there. It's called the Premier Shard Suite. I'm not going to show you the room yet because I don't want to spoil it. All that's now left to do is skip forward 10 days. And just like that, it is 10 days later. It is the 21st of September. So it's 6 p.m. right now. I'm about to leave to go to the first of the two hotels. The first one obviously isn't going to be as interesting as the second one. There's a microwave. I think there might be a TV. And uh, yeah, we're going to go explore the area, see what's around the hotel. So I just read the email. I'm pretty sure everything is self-check-in. I have the code to get in the front door right here. And I also have a code to get into my bedroom as well. So on floor number five. It said it was room number five on the top floor. This isn't the top floor, but it is room number five. My code did actually work, so I've got the door open. I don't think it's actually gonna be that bad. Okay, I can already see the bed. Oh, here we go. Oh, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Look at this. Wow, and it didn't lie, we've actually got our own microwave. I can make dinner, that is ideal. Okay, so it does kind of smell like chlorine in here, but it doesn't look too bad, genuinely. For the price I paid, it's not a bad room. The carpet isn't exactly the cleanest thing in the world. The bed, obviously, is a single, a, a proper single. Like, this bed is tiny, if you can't tell. We've got a lovely view of someone's back garden. We've also got a crutch on the roof right there. I don't know why that's there. Slightly weird, but there's a load of hair ties, a bit of tissue. The cleaner obviously couldn't put that in the bin. There's also ice packs, a lot of cigarettes, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else is on this roof, but to be fair though, there is a TV. And this isn't that bad of a TV. I mean, it is the same size as my laptop, but look, it's a flat screen. That's really modern technology. I mean, it hasn't been plugged in. I'm supposed to do that by myself, but that's fair enough. It's not a five-star hotel. I didn't expect much. They've given me some little toiletries. I've got soap, body wash, conditioning shampoo, a towel. Wow, I'm being spoiled. There's also a lovely Oyo pillow with some sort of stain on it. <sighs> lovely. And the bathroom. Let's have a look. Oh. It doesn't look too bad. We have a shower, that is great news. An actual shower. And this head, this shower head is above my head. That is very useful. Considering this was the cheapest hotel I could find in London, it's really not that bad. It's reasonably clean. There's nothing too large to complain about. And the most important part, the bed, the main reason you're probably booking a hotel room to sleep. Um, I mean, maybe there's other reasons, but for myself, I'm just gonna be sleeping tonight. I'm going to prepare myself for this. Let's have it. Oh, I touched the bottom of the bed. Within a second. Oh, I should probably take my shoes off. Yeah, that's kind of disrespectful. I'm sorry, Oyo Hotel. Please don't charge me for putting my shoes in the bed. And this is the part where I have absolutely no idea what to do. There's no pool to go in. There's there's no gym. It's not a restaurant, not a bar. So I've actually left the hotel now. I'm on my way to the park, going for a little stroll, seeing what's around the area. There's also a Tesco right in front of me, so I might get my dinner from there. Bonus, I also found out there's a Pure Gym right next to the hotel. I have a Pure Gym membership, which is so convenient. <sighs> back in paradise. Okay, so I've now got my dinner. I'm about to go to the gym, and then when I get back, I think I might watch a movie. A ready meal fish pie in a movie. What more could I ask for? Literally, I'm living the dream. So I just finished up at the gym. I had a really good session. I'm in the car actually right now because I'm about to go pick up my friend Jack. He lives really close here. I haven't seen him in a few weeks now and he said he wanted to see the room. And I also may have realized I don't have a fork for my fish pie. I have secured a fork. Are you ready to see the room of dreams? I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, you ready? Go right. chandelier. <laughs> oh, f this. Bro. Oh no, we left your fork in the car. You dickhead, I'm not going back out there. It's not bad. No, it's, it's not. It's nice. It's not that bad. Nice carpet. <laughs> <laughs> that taste, isn't it? <laughs> this car. Microwave beside your bed. Oh, sh**. Yeah, it's not too bad. I've seen confession boxes bigger than this thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> they even left this on for you. Look, they've satisfied those. 
That's nice. You got three more. You got three more edges to do tonight. <laughs> the smallest desk in the world. That is so hot. And just like that, I've made fish pie. It's not bad. It's too hot at the moment to actually eat. Okay, so hear me out. That fish pie was actually so so good i basically finished everything i said i was gonna watch a movie but it's now midnight i'm so so tired i have to wake up in about six and a half hours i think i'm gonna try to go to sleep in this very very comfy bed it is also absolutely boiling in here it is actually not that bad if you're on a budget and you need someone to stay in london i would probably recommend it okay maybe i take that back i actually ended up getting bites which i believe are bed bug bites thank you very much oyo hotel so if you live in the uk and you want to easily save money online then you're gonna need something called pouch who have kindly sponsored today's video pouch is a free desktop browser extension that automatically searches the web for the best discount codes and applies them whenever you buy anything online. It saves you money and takes virtually no effort at all. It works on over 3,000 UK websites, including eBay and ASOS. For example, if watching this video has made you want to go away somewhere, I went onto lastminute.com, found a nice hotel, and then at checkout, Pouch automatically popped up, found the best discount code, and applied it. And as you can see, I saved 20 pounds. It only takes a couple of clicks to install, and then you pin it to your browser, so it's always there to save you money. Join for free using my link on screen, joinpouch.com slash i slash ben, or literally just go to the description, click the link, it is super simple. Pouch actually works on more UK websites, websites and other extensions to offer a similar service. So even if you have another extension installed and you're in the UK, then Pouch will find you more discount codes than that one. Anyways, thank you so much to Pouch for making this video possible. I really, really do appreciate it. Link is down below in the description. Let's get back to the video. Good morning, everyone. I am half awake right now, but I had a fairly good sleep. And just like that, my time in this beautiful room has finally come to an end. I didn't even get a chance to use the TV, which is so sad. What a waste. Now, I'm not too sure about that one. I don't know if that's a correct statement. So I'm actually now on my way to the tube station. I'm getting the tube all the way from West London to London Bridge. It's quite a long journey. I'm gonna put my music on, get on the tube, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Just now I'm going up to the 35th floor to reception to go check in and be shown to my room. I'm so excited, wow. All right, I'm probably gonna get told off for filming, but who cares? So I've got my room key, I've just paid the money. That hurt a lot, I'm telling you now. 993 pounds is not a transaction I really wanna be doing. That is the room 3802, it's down here. These hallways are so bougie. Okay, so, oh my God, this is actually insane. The blinds are going up literally as I walk in as well. Oh my days, this place is ridiculous. Wow, that view. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Look how insane that view is. It is ridiculous. Canary Wharf over there. The city of London right there. The HMS Belfast. Okay, so I'm actually gonna properly show you around now. This is the main bit you first walk into. This is the lounge area, I guess. You have a sofa, you have some cupboards, you have a toilet in here, I think. Is this a toilet? Yeah, there is one toilet. Oh, what the f that oh my god these are actually the toilets which clean your ass i don't know how i feel about that i don't know if i'm gonna try it i never have before i don't think i'm too keen very nice toilet in here i believe this is one of two toilets i don't know why i need two toilets but um oh well who cares i'm not complaining wait is that what i think it is is that a play button they have put a note and they have made a chocolate play button for me what i am actually baffed i'm so baffed en route for a million at Ben Morris and there is a chocolate play button with a load of chocolate balls. What the f am I supposed to do with this thing? That is actually ridiculous. That is what you call service, guys. To be fair, I did email them to say I was coming. I want them to let me stay in the really expensive suite for a night for free. I think the most expensive one's called the Shangri-La suite and it's £8,000 a night. I obviously don't have the funds to pay for that and I don't think a sponsor wants to pay for that either. If you're watching at the Shard, I know you probably are. Thank you so much for this. Let's set a like goal. If we can get 40,000 likes, I'll persuade them to let me stay in the really expensive suite for a night. I don't know if I'll definitely be able to, but if they see this and we have 40,000 likes, you have to let me stay. There's also a bottle of champagne, two champagne glasses for myself. Is this free? Am I going to get charged when I touch it? Oh, it's an ice. Wow. Vuev Clieco. If you can't tell, I don't know my champagnes. I don't really drink champagne that much. A desk if I fancy doing any work with a very, very nice view. Look at that. Again, for like the 500th time, it doesn't get old. That is like the structure of the building that goes up the side. That is so cool. What the hell? And then through here, the bedroom, where all the magic is gonna happen. Look how insane this room is. Oh, that bed is so big. I don't think the camera really picks up how big this thing is, but it is longer this way than it is that way. I don't know if that's weird for beds, but it is massive. I'm now gonna do a bed test in a 1,000 pound a night room. Hopefully, 
It lives up to the car. Oh my God, that is so nice. Wow. Literally being in this bed is my motivation to work hard. Like I need a bed this comfy. It will just make me happy. Anyways, back to the room tour before I fall asleep on this bed. I have some more seats here. There's some water. Shangri-La hotel branded water. Look at that. Very nice stuff. A mirror again. Hi guys. And in here we have the main bathroom. Double sinks. One for myself and one for me. We have the time in case I'm late for something. That is a TV in the mirror in case you need to watch something while you're brushing your teeth in the morning. Let me turn this crap. Oh, thank you. What do we have here then? A massive walk-in shower slash bath. This is insane. Another toilet that cleans your ass. I'm a tiny bit disappointed I didn't get a bath of a view. I don't think I should be allowed to complain right now. I'm in the most insane room I've ever stayed in in my life. I can't tell if the note is edible. It's definitely not. So I'm actually now gonna go check out the pool. I just called up concierge. He told me to get changed in my room, put on a gown, and then go up to the 52nd floor where the pool is. I don't know how much I'm about to film because there might be other people in there. It's a really, really prestigious hotel. I obviously don't want to be filming other people, especially in a pool. It's a bit weird. Okay, so I'm actually back from the pool now. I cannot even explain how nice it is. I'm now gonna go back up there and check out the gym because I think I might do a quick ab workout. I'm trying to get a six pack. I don't know why. I don't know how it's gonna benefit me. And then I think I might go to the restaurant and eat by myself. I haven't found anyone to come join me yet. I know this makes me look so sad coming here alone, but I'm having the best time. I love being alone a lot of the time. It's actually starting to get dark now. I cannot wait to see this view at night. It's gonna be so beautiful. Let's go upstairs and check out the gym. The gym was actually quite good to be fair, there was really good equipment, there wasn't too much in there, it wasn't really a big gym. I've just turned on the TV and I've realised there's a yoga, an intense fitness, and there's a body mobility channel as well. They've got it all here. London is just looking beautiful as always at night, it's such an amazing view, I can't say that enough. However, I'm now going to go have a shower, and then I'm going to go get some food because all I've eaten today is baked beans on bagel, not the healthiest diet in the world. I've just read here that if you book breakfast between 6.30am and 8 a.m. you get a free cocktail. Hi there, I was just wondering if I could book breakfast uh, for 7 a.m. tomorrow. How many people? Uh, just one person, please. Uh, that'd be fine, sir. Breakfast is booked for 7 a.m., which means I should get a free cocktail. I cannot wait to have that cocktail for my breakfast in the morning. I'm gonna go shower, try look half presentable, and then I'm gonna go for dinner by myself. So I went for dinner at the Ting restaurant, it's called. It was such a good meal, the best food I've had in a very long time. It obviously wasn't cheap, it was like double the price of the room I stayed in last night, which is just ridiculous to think about. I really don't know what to do with myself now, I'm actually really tired, so I might go to sleep, I'm not too sure, I might just watch Netflix. If I don't speak to you guys soon, I will see you in the morning. <sighs> Wow, that is actually insane. That was possibly the most expensive sleep I've ever had in my life, but it was 100%. Actually, I don't know if it was worth it. I don't know. A thousand pounds? I honestly slept like a baby. I don't want to get out of bed right now, but I have breakfast booked for about 20 minutes. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. I also want to make the most of it go for a swim, go to the gym. Five and a half more hours in this place. Let's try and make every single penny count. Shock horror, I'm in bed again. It's just too comfy, I actually can't get out. I've just constantly been pressing the blind button to make them go up and down. It's so entertaining. Honestly, I'm such a kid, but I don't care. I was gonna go to the gym, but I'm so, so, so full after breakfast. I ate so much food. I couldn't imagine anything worse than working out right now. So I think I'm gonna stay in bed for a bit. Then I might go for one final swim and then pack my stuff. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave. It's gonna be a sad moment. I've actually had the best time. I can't get over how insane this place actually is. I really need to stop saying actually, I say it too much. So it's finally that time, I have to check out now. I literally need to be there in a few minutes, but I'm probably gonna be late. Hopefully they don't charge me. I have had the best time. I imagine some of you guys want to punch me right now watching this. The real question though, was it actually worth it? A thousand pounds on one night? It entirely depends on how much money you have. If you can afford something like this for one night, then yeah, do it. But you'll probably actually enjoy one of the cheaper rooms just as much as something like this. Obviously I have this massive lounge room as well, but I didn't really use it that much. I honestly just spent most of the time in that massive, massive bed. Thank you so much to the Shangri-La Hotel. I did actually pay for this, by the way. They didn't give it to me for free. The service was so amazing. Like, I was treated so well at this hotel. The chocolate YouTube plaque as well just made the experience 10 times better. I realized I'm not gonna be able to take this home. It'll just get moldy. So, I almost forgot my receipt, as you guys can see. 
1,193 pounds, including the deposit. That was a lot of money. Not enjoyable at all. Goodbye hotel room, maybe. I will see you again soon, maybe. Probably, maybe, maybe. This is actually really sad. I'm going to miss this place so, so much. One final look at the view, look how insane. It's not really a nice day today, but still. Very, very sad moment. Goodbye hotel room, I will miss you a lot.